so there are two injections that are suggested is there any difference between them yeah so there are different brands of testosterone available we have different brands so both brands work we also have options of gel we give these injection once in 3 to 4 weeks initially we start once in 4 weeks low dose 100 mg then we increase the dose slowly over time to 250 mg after monitoring for the side effects so we go with 100 mg and then we increase to 250 mg and uh, also we have a 1000 mg injection but we normally don't prefer this because with 1000 mg the side effects are higher which is given once in 3 months but sometimes the patients prefer once in 3 months because they can't get access every month the gels are also available some of the patients who have got side effects or liver side effects with the testosterone injections i use gels also so there are options of gels which have very less side effects but they have to be applied daily and little bit of the cost factor comes into play so that is another option for them so all these things work so it has to be again individualized and decided as per the follow up of the side effects so there was one question of that uh, sometimes it happens that even in, in hrt people bleed menstruation happens see what happens that when the testosterone dose is low initially 3 months to 6 months the periods may come the menstruation may come but after that most of the time it doesn't come it stops but it happens that for some people there may be a bleeding later also suppose they delay the next injection or for some reason they have skipped the injections they may get a breakthrough bleed we have treatment for that but another important thing is it's not the treatment only the first thing is if for some time the periods were not coming and all of a sudden they have started bleeding we should investigate that we should do an ultrasound to see See what is happening because we should not miss some problem also. So that is why if in between the periods were not coming and all of a sudden they have started coming again, and in spite of the hormone therapy being the same and the dose not being reduced, then it is better to check and see what is happening. That is one thing. And then there are treatment available if there is no other reason and it is just coming like that in between. Then we have therapies available in the form of metoxiprogesterone. We have injections, depo-provera, and all which can be given to stop the bleeding. Even luprolite can be given in such cases. Thank you.